I mean, coming soon. Coming soon. But today, we're going to be doing a 10-year rebuild on the Dodgers. I already know there's going to be those annoying people in the comments that are going to say, The Dodgers don't need a rebuild. They're already good enough. Well, you know what? The only reason I'm doing this is because of the World Series. This video is actually going out just after the Angels 10-year rebuild. So, of course, if you did miss that, it's up here in the top corner. But the reason I'm, the reason I'm doing this is I've just done the Rays not too long ago. I figured let's do the Dodgers. They're in the World Series. I'm actually pre-recording this. This is probably going to come out around Game 4, possibly Game 5. So I don't I don't know what's going to happen with the World Series at this point. But I'm bringing this to you guys. I figured it'd be a fun video just because of the way you know the World Series is going on. And I hope you do enjoy it. So, of course, if you do, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And, of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what team you would like me to do next. So... With that being said, the last thing I need to tell you, go follow my Twitter. Just go do it. It's in the description below. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all social media links are down there. Go and give them a follow. Here we go. Let's do this. I found my I found it's better if I sit up here in the top corner. So the Dodgers. I mean, they're a good team. They definitely are. Um, we're gonna have GM contracts off. And something I've been noticing because of these 10-year rebuilds, as my phone goes, a buzz buzz, you know. So what I'm noticing is budgets is really keeping teams from signing a lot of top players so i'm going to turn ignore budgets um off so like you just do or no ignore budgets on so teams can just go crazy with it and then um what i'll do is i'll focus on the budget make sure i stay within budget throughout this rebuild and that way teams can just go and sign whoever they want and uh we can go crazy with it so there we go all right so so we all know what the dodgers look like we know they're stacked we know everything's good to go budget is going to be an issue david price is a player that i really want to get rid of i don't really see him being in the long-term plans with the team for me you know there's a couple other players i did try to mimic mookie bet's contract to the best that i could to what he got in real life so he should be here for the entire rebuild actually and then obviously a couple other players but we know what the team looks like we know what the roster is looking like and uh, I don't really want to go through it too much. So, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll make some moves in the offseason. But the first time you'll see me, whoa, the first time you see me check back is going to be draft day as per usual. And, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm actually going to take DJ Peters, send him down to AAA. And then what, what we'll do is we'll bring up, uh, let's bring up Edwin Rios. Sure. We'll, yeah, make him, a, make him a MLB star. There we go. See you guys at draft day. All right, so draft time. Let's take a look at how we did. And okay, not terrible. This guy, I only took him because he was the best available. And he was the best available by quite a bit. So 73 overall, 84 potential. We don't really need catchers. Maybe I make him a first baseman, maybe a third baseman. It really just depends. How tall is he? 5 foot 11. So yeah, maybe, maybe like a first or third, not first, but probably maybe like a, a third baseman possibly. We've got Mario Batista, 66 overall with 89 potential. And then the rest of the guys look like they're going to be like maybe platoon players. Um, maybe Jamison Ibar becomes like a decent bullpen option. Maybe like a long reliever. But we'll have to wait and see how everything pans out. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we're in the offseason of the first year. I'm going to throw myself in the top corner as per usual. Albert Pujols has retired, which is wild. I normally don't see him retire in the first season. Sorry, I'm messing with stuff here. I'm trying to get it all situated. But um let's take a look at what we're gonna do with this team because there's a, there's a couple players that i want to keep obviously there's a couple players i want to get rid of as well one of those players that i 100 percent want to keep is um cory seager having an unreal postseason i think he's definitely proven that he is going to be the shortstop for the dodgers going forward justin turner we do have chris taylor who can play third and i know he like he had a decent year let me take a little, little peek at what happened with the team really quick. Jack Peterson was pretty bad. Um, Wow. Chris Taylor was pretty good. Justin Turner is usually good for at least one more year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Justin Turner one more year. 10 mil. That's fine. Pedro Baez is usually a pretty reliable arm in the bullpen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up a little bit. He should accept that. Blake Trinan was really good. The thing is, he's normally not too good after like a year or two. 
So what I'll do is I'll do that with the club option just to be a little safe. Uh, Alex Wood. I had him. I just had him in the Angels rebuild for a couple years. So I feel like that's kind of a pain to like throw him in. So I'm actually going to let him walk. Kike Hernandez was pretty good as a platoon guy. The thing is, he's going to want to be an everyday guy. And I, I can't I can't guarantee him that unless he plays left field over Jock. Because, like, Jock's good and all. But, like, if he's going to hit 184, I don't know. What does Jock want? I'm going to give him a, a two-year club option. And then what else? I guess we call Kike back. Man, we're spending a lot of money here, and I don't like it. Jimmy Nelson, eh. Jake McGee was good. Was good, but at 34, deep potential, he's probably going to fall and not be good after this. So that took a long time to figure out who I wanted to keep, who I wanted to get rid of. Ryu gets traded to the Angels. Okay. I got to remember to turn down the trade sliders because I have noticed there's been a couple trades that eh, there's way too many trades already. Um... So yeah, let's let's figure things out. Let's add Ramos. Let's add Jackson and uh, Bobby Miller as well. All those guys to the 40 man. Looking at arbitration. Let's take a little peek here. Yeah, everybody arbitration. Everybody a contract as well. And then our budget's sitting at 2 million. But the thing is, looking at it going forward, like Kenley becomes a free agent. A couple other guys do as well. We have Joe Kelly here who normally doesn't do well in franchise. Corey Seager is going to become a free agent pretty soon, so we're going to have to pay him. All right, so the Dodgers are kind of a team that, like, don't they don't need anything. And I've mentioned that multiple times. This is more of a retool, trying to manage the budget and everything like that. And I'll explain how I'm going to do that going forward. But the thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to acquire a long reliever. Bruce Dark Gratterall is just never good in franchise. And he's probably a player I'm going to look to move on in the future. But for now, I'm going to trade Scott Alexander and Carlos Rincon for James Caprillion of the Athletics. Not a crazy move at all like it's actually really boring but um uh, i did it because i need a long reliever starting rotation untouched bullpen uh ramos came up along with caleb ferguson and then when you look at the lineup it's untouched didi gregorius has actually come and joined the squad we have a lot of lefties that is a big problem like insane just it's just a big problem like that's really what it comes down to i'm actually gonna move Maybe Seager in a two spot. Oh, man, it's just it's just too many. I don't I don't know what to do with this team, man. There's just too many lefties. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Obviously, adding Didi Gregorius made it a little bit trickier, but this is kind of what we're working with with the team. I'll show you kind of what the prospects and everything look like. You can see we got like Josiah Gray, Mitchell White, Clayton Beater, a couple other guys. Um, Bobby Miller, I make a reliever. I feel like that just fits his attributes a little bit better and you guys can kind of see what else we have here this guy i'm thinking about just making him a third baseman right now because like we've got keyboard ruiz we still have will smith who do we have a third cody hose yeah let's just do that i normally don't switch positions but since we have an abundance of uh catchers there's no reason to keep them there so we'll make them a third baseman you guys can kind of see the other positions that we have who's rated what what prospects we have um it only brought them down a rating too so that's good to see and then you guys can kind of see what else we have here so this is everybody i'll show you the budget like i said we didn't really do much in the off season i signed clayton kershaw to a two-year extension we've got kenley to a two-year ex extension and um aj pollock had a good year last year in his appearances, but man, that's a lot of money to be paying him. And then, oh, I signed Seager to an extension as well. That was another guy that I did. So, um, well, let's... Mm, mm, mm. There was another guy that I gave an extension to. There we go. That is what I did. A contract extension. So, there's that. And that, that was it. That was really about it. Um, I guess I can see if there's like any crazy pending. Nah, that's it. Um, budget super tight i knew that was gonna happen but we're gonna go from here and see how it goes I've, I've shown you the contract extensions i've shown you the team i like it 
only one minor signing or trade but uh, i think going forward we're gonna start making some more trades making some more free agency signings and uh, once we figure out who we want to keep who we want to get rid of i think that's really gonna help out the team so i'll see you guys at draft day all right draft day and man not good brian ayala and chris ponce and then pedro rosado wow that was a bad draft and our scouts aren't doing that well like we're not even getting like a lot of like 80 potential players 70 potential players on like the scouting report so like it's actually been like just not good draft picks so i might just have to like fire my scouts and get some new scouts because it's not going too well so all right so we had a really good year 110 to 52 won the division Ooh, love to see it and um yeah this is what you want this is what you want we're first ranked we have the best defense pitching and power first in defense that's a first literally uh era is great averages is okay um the padres are definitely going to be a, a tough team to compete with throughout this rebuild and um there was one thing that i forgot to mention at the beginning of this season and um it was that i released david price so i didn't feel like trading him i felt like that was kind of unrealistic and realistically it wasn't gonna be a player that we could get too much in return for so i just felt like let's release him we'll we'll take we'll take the hit on his contract this year and next year i think next year we have to pay 11 million of his remaining uh contract so i was like whatever it's not a big deal we're not gonna like die because of it so you guys can see the awards and the league leaders around the league of course and um, we don't have like anything here what's kenley jansen's there but outside of that there's not uh not too much going on in terms of awards or league leaders which is super disappointing so james caprillion was actually kind of nasty you know caleb ferguson was good blake trinan sucked that was what i was worried about edubri ramos was good pedro Baez was pretty solid dylan floro the cubs legend he was good and then of course kenley jansen awesome you love to see it we take a look at our starting rotation clayton kershaw is clayton kershaw-esque oof walker bueller right behind him you got julio urias tony gonsolin and then of course dustin may as a five that is a scary five and i'm glad that we have it so looking at our bench aj pollock pretty good numbers like actually pretty good numbers his stats aren't too bad either um but he's gonna fall off in rating i know he is and uh i'm not too excited about it so okay i'll probably end up keep being kike and i'll get rid of like aj pollock and we'll go from there justin turner definitely gonna be his last year sadly it's just gonna be that way Corey seager had a great season 42 home runs you got 39 from bellinger a big bounce back year from last year in terms of like average on base percentage and things like that mookie betts is putting up insane numbers you got gavin lux who for some reason in franchise just doesn't do well i think a I think they always have him just working on his fielding, which is super annoying. So I'm going to make sure I train his uh, hitting stats. You got Didi, who had a really good year. Wow, holy cow. Love to see that. Muncy is starting to cool off. He's got one more year on his deal. I'll let him see out his contract and then look for a new first baseman. Will Smith is putting up good numbers for a catcher. 28 home runs. You know, I don't really expect him to ever be a high average guy. I think he's going to be more of like a, you know, just like a, a slugging catcher. Jock Peterson, I'm not going to bring him back no reason to we got options in the in the farm system for sure that we could uh either trade for or um, like trade the players away or we can just let them come up and be like kind of backups because we do have aj pollock we do have like kike and stuff like that so sorry jock your time has come to an end so here we go let's get into the postseason see how these matchups go we're facing the cubs and okay we win all right a little scary there we're facing the Reds now, and we are going to advance and take on the Yankees in the World Series. Okay, so I'm going to have not Julio Urias start, but I'm going to go. I'm just going to get our best foot forward. I think I actually moved it so that Walker Bueller starting. Yeah, I did. Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Kershaw, Bueller. I keep messing it up. Jesus gonsolin there it is that is how i want it my lord that took too much and facing the yankees we are world series winners all right there we go first world series in the first season as expected i know this is going to be one of those where it's like it's not a rebuild you're making a really good team really good it doesn't make sense it's not fun it's just it's just 
because of the World Series, like I mentioned. I wanted it to be a little bit of a challenge just because of the contracts. We've got some nasty contracts on here, and I want to see what I can do with like Betts, Bellinger, Seager, and things like that. So Betts, World Series MVP, Muncie, postseason MVP. So there we are. There we go. So let's get into the offseason. And if the, like, I don't want to say like leave your World Series guesses in the comment section because by the time this comes out, the World Series might be over. So I don't want to be like, what? What do you guys think the World Series is going to be like? Because it might be over at this point. So um, Justin Turner, I'm going to let him walk. I'm going to decline this option for Jock. Kike, what was it? Six mil? Ah, that's fine. One more year for him. Blake Trinan, decline. Wow, we're not bringing him back. Chris Taylor was very bad. Only played 30 games though. And uh, you know what? Let's just do like a, a two-year... One year, five million dollar deal. We'll see how that goes. Joe Kelly, he doesn't really ever do good in franchise, so there was no point in using him. And Didi was kind of nasty, so let's let's do like a another one year deal with Didi, cause like he was he was a really good bat for us. So there we go. Let's keep moving forward into this forty man. Not gonna lose Josiah Gray. Can't lose him. He's one of like the main pitching prospects. Just in case we can't keep any of our other starters or Kershaw starts to fall off and we don't want to bring him back um everybody's getting arbitration contracts wise everybody's going to get a contract as well and then we do have a little bit of money to play with obviously players like Bellinger are going to start to hit free agency and a couple other guys so I want to make sure that I give them contracts but we do we do have the room and the flexibility to at least make one signing and I think that's going to be kind of targeting Maybe Didi can play third. And then we we do kind of need like a like a DH slash outfielder because we don't we don't really just we just we just don't have one MLB ready just yet. DJ Peters really isn't. Jaron Kendall's not. And um Drew Jackson really not the guy either. This guy's not ready yet. Almost. Cody Hose. Eh, you know, like We've got players that are like right on the edge, but just not good enough. So let's go see. We could call up Edwin Rios. He'd be a good little like platoon guy to have. But um, let's go see what we could see in terms of like hitters that we could add to the the team. So like Chris Bryant's a big one. Lindor, I know in real life has been rumored, but Corey Seager popped off. There's no way the Dodgers need a Lindor. They could go out and get him, but I don't see them really doing that now. We do need a righty bat. Jorge Soler is on my mind right now. All right, so I'm going to make a trade with the Marlins. And uh, this one I'm a little intrigued by. I'm going to get Jesus Sanchez. I'm not going to put him into the majors right away. But I'm going to let him move to left field. And I'm thinking he's going to be the left fielder for the future. I mean, they're kind of like full of outfielders anyways. I mean, like look at all these outfielders. So I'm going to send him another one in DJ Peters and Drew Jackson. Uh, those are the two players I'm going to send to him. I'm going to make sure that Jesus Sanchez did not get sent up to the majors, which of course he did. And then on top of that, I said it was, I was going to move him to left field. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him to triple A, make sure he's in the lineup there. And uh, yeah, that's the, the team. All right. So off season, signed Cody Bellinger to a deal. Here it is. Boom. He ain't leaving for the rest of the rebuild. Um, this guy was signed just to fill out the roster. James Caprillian, Soler signed, and then Colin McHugh signed, and then a couple other players. I think I extended the contracts. No, no, just Cody Bellinger that I made sure that I gave him a contract extension. Other than that, you know, money's still pretty tight. AJ Pollock, I'm going to see how he does this year. If he does well, I'll just let him go through the last year of his contract. But you can see we're, we're, we're super tight on the, the cash here. But, um... Everything else went really well last year. I'm looking, you know, forward to seeing how everything goes this year. Colin McHugh kind of fit the bullpen. We don't really have anybody that we could call up immediately. So I felt like this was a this was an okay move for us. I might even make a like Bruzar a closer or something. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to think what I what I want to do with Bruzar. I'm just not 100% sure. And then this is kind of our lineup here. I guess I can call up what? Edwin? Or maybe like a middle infielder. Maybe sign like a middle infielder for the season. Uh, the Mar 
Darwin Gonzalez. Is that is that who I want? He's gonna want to be an everyday guy. He ain't gonna be an everyday guy, and he wants a lot of money. How about 7.5 million? Oh, you're you're being a pain. One year, one year, nine million. Wait, what do you want, my guy? I'll give you a club option. I'm dropping this down now. He ain't coming back next year, so it don't matter how much I just gave you. But yeah, this is the team. There you go. <laughs> That's the team. It looks really good. Uh, I made sure all the trainings are good to go. So they're focusing on the attributes that need to be focused on. And that's the squad. So yeah, I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm really liking this team. And let's see where we're kind of ranked. Uh, first for everything except for speed. We're second in power and sec 22nd in contact. So yeah, there's that. See you guys at draft day. All right, the drafts haven't been too good lately so let's take a look and see how these went okay all right actually howie brandano 87 potential that looks decent his fielding is atrocious though this is probably going to be like a solaire type player we've got cologne not great we've got jason franklin though franklin looks more like a long long-term project but 84 potential 82 for lewis hayer and that's, that's really about it. So, again, not great. All right, so 114.48 is our record for the year. And, I mean, it's going to be a broken record at this point. Just me saying, we won the division, we won the division, we won the division, we won this, we won that. As you can see, the average went up. I think the ERA went down, which is even crazier. But, um, okay, the Padres, did they fall off? Oh, yeah, quite a bit. Yikes, what happened to them? But, okay, the Twins are looking pretty solid. And uh, the Reds, the Reds are looking pretty solid. I want, I actually considered trading for Jesse Winker and watch him just have like a, a crazy good year. But um, pitching's doing well as expected. But yeah, I, I, I consider trading for Jesse Winker just to kind of be like that extra outfielder that we needed, that left fielder that we needed. But um, you know what? I felt like he's hitting free agency pretty soon. I think it, it was within the next year or two. So I didn't want to like get stuck with you know, a player that we're going to have to pay a lot of money for very soon. So I think he's, I think he has arbitration this year and then next year he becomes a free agent. So I just, I just knew we were going to be in some trouble financially if we would have like tried to keep Winker. So I just felt like, let's just go with someone a little bit cheaper and try to work with what we already have on the team. So here we go. I'm not seeing Kenley Jansen's there again, but like, can we get anything going for our squad because right now it's no awards man that's like the one thing that's kind of keeping us at bay just no awards uh james capillion not as good as he was last year actually pretty similar he just didn't pitch as much so pedro Baez was very good caleb ferguson was still pretty respectable you know ed ramos was solid colin McHugh was solid floro kenley jansen i mean everybody's doing their job and it uh, looks like Bruce Dar got moved up here, but his per nines are going up pretty quickly. So hopefully soon he'll he'll be like stud level. Uh, Walker Bueller, unreal. Uh, same with Clayton Kershaw. We've got Julio Urias. Oh, wait. No, I didn't extend his contract. I tried to, but it wouldn't let me go past like two or three years without really pissing him off. Uh, Tony Gonsolin did really well. And then Dustin May did solid as well. So everybody's doing really well. I don't really see us needing to bring up anybody anytime soon unless like Kershaw just falls off the face of the earth, which I don't see happening. AJ Pollock is kind of like that platoon outfielder, still had a really good season. Marwin Gonzalez, whatever. Austin Barnes, whatever. Matt Beatty was okay. Kike Hernandez, not great. So probably should look for new cheaper options on the bench. Didi Gregorius is insane. I, I, I might actually bring him back for another year. Corey Seager unbelievable Mookie Betts still putting up great numbers Cody Bellinger Jorge Soler Max Muncie uh contract year two of course of course of course that's gonna happen Gavin Lux what is going on my guy huh that's not good uh Chris Taylor struggled and then you got Will Smith who like I said he's probably gonna hover around this area and uh that's fine we've got a couple catchers that we're looking forward to like Kiebert Ruiz uh, Jesus Sanchez is up to an 80. Looks like he's going to really thrive versus righties. So it looks like he could probably come up and play left field for us next season. Um, that third baseman is getting better. He's yeah, he's looking pretty good. I'll probably give him another season or two since he's only 19. Cody Hose is probably a player I'm going to look to trade. 24 years old. Not really developing either. I know he's not getting game time, but 
we we just got better players in the works right now so that's really about it there's the squad so here we go are we gonna get eliminated no we didn't okay that's good now we're taking on the marlins who got Syndergaard. okay didn't matter because we just blew right through them um and now ooh, an la matchup in the world series okay i like that so let's go you know what kershaw can have game one start um and then we'll, we'll go may urias and gonsolin yeah, yeah yeah we'll go like that uh since may's got the hot hand so boom we lose the first adubre ramos come on my guy we need better from you and we're down Game seven, Bueller, Heaney. We do lose to the Angels. Wow. Okay. Who let pitching let me down? I know that. Dustin May let me down. Julio Urias, Gonsolin. Kershaw did well. I, I think the bullpen. Yeah, Ramos. Oh my god. Oh, Dylan Flora. What what happened? Not good. Not good. Our pitching coach retired, of course. Couple coaches always leave us. Always puts me in a sticky spot. So Miggy retires. Hall of Fame member. I'm going to pick up this option from Kenley because he's nasty. Uh, Pedro Baez. We'll give him one more year. It's a $3 million option. Super cheap. Marwin, get out of here. You greedy, greedy person. All right. Max Muncy. Let's do a two-year club option. 15 mil. Yikes. That's a that's a lot of money. Didi is killing it. Have some more money. Hang out with us, my guy. You're insane. I'm actually... He's going to be like our DH third baseman. So, like, I feel like if I can get him for a little bit cheaper, might as well, right? That's what I'm saying. And then Colin McHugh was really good, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold that at the age of 35. I think he's going to fall off a little bit. Austin Barnes is $5 million for a backup catcher. I know in real life is nothing, but in MLB The Show, we can get someone cheaper. So, there's that. Boom. Uh, 40 man. What do we got here? I'll make sure I add Sheffield, a couple other guys there that I probably don't want to lose just to make sure we don't run out of prospects in the system. Let's add everybody here for arbitration. Ramos, I'm going to keep my eye on. I might give him one more year. Everybody's getting a contract as well. All right, so we're in 2023. We're in a, li a little bit of money trouble, a little bit. Um, that's because I've... Cody Bellinger, I've, I've done a couple extensions. Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts. I'm not sure about Kershaw yet. Seager, obviously. Muncy, we did two years. Now I'm kind of regretting it. Pollock leaves this year. Solaire leaves this year. I extended Bueller. I extended Urias, but I only did it for a couple years because I know by the time he hits like age 30, he tends to fall off and regress. Um, I signed Ryan Presley for a two year deal. We've got Jansen leaving, possibly Gregorius. We've got Gonsolin. I brought back Justin Turner. So yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm like, maybe I spent a little bit too much money and now I'm kind of regretting it and maybe I'm not uh, planning out what I should be doing. You know what I mean? Um, so budget's at 7.30. You can see what we're rocking with for the bullpen and everything. Not much has changed. Um, I am taking a big risk on a certain player because they're on waivers right now, which didn't really want um, Bruzdar. I'm going to have to take a ch uh He's on waivers right now. I have to take a chance on him not getting picked up by another team. He just doesn't fit in the team right now, unfortunately. So, I, I got to do it. Um, shortstop. I need a backup shortstop in the majors. Who could I call up? I guess we can call up Michael Bush. Might as well. If he does well, we keep him. If not, you know, we let him walk. It's not a big deal. And uh, so, yeah, there we are. That's the squad couple players are on waivers which i'm a little worried about i really hope we don't lose them um i always check these just to see if there's some nice little pickups later on in the rebuild there usually is and i might have to snag a player as we go through the rebuild a couple players were interesting in free agency too but i'm gonna hold off we have we have some uh some good prospects that i was able to pick up in free agency as well uh pete greer i saw this guy sitting there i thought that was a good pickup Isaiah Green is here. He was available. I was like, we got to pick him up. Carson Tucker. Um, I forgot the other Tucker for the Pirates. I forgot his name. It's his brother. So there's that. Ezra Gomez was available. I decided to snag him up. So yeah, this is the team. I'm a little worried about the budget now. 
not gonna lie i'm i'm, I'm kind of stressing about that one but uh we'll see how it goes moving forward and uh yeah this is the squad i like it it looks really good i need gavin lux to turn up and learn how to hit the baseball that's really about it though so i'll see you guys at draft day Alrighty, draft time. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Ah, again, man, we're just not getting the luck. 80 potential, though, could be good. He could be good. Um, 79 potential, probably going to end up being a platoon guy. And then Alexi Barreto. And, I mean, the per nines just don't look high enough just yet. So, man, we're just maybe uh, maybe uh, it's just, it's just not my rebuild for draft picks. Hopefully, we can change it, though. All right, so we won the division again, 99 and 63. So in terms of like wins and losses, probably our worst year yet. Actually, it is our worst year yet. But um, we still won the division by quite a bit, which is good. The ERA is in a decent spot. The average is still kind of been where it has been throughout this entire rebuild. And um, maybe it's just one of those years where like things just didn't go our way. Because like, yeah, we still won 99 in games. We won the division. It went pretty well. But I feel like with the team that we have, we should be consistently winning 100 games. And um, we're not, you know, like, I guess this year we didn't, I should say. Prior to this year we have. But um, hopefully we can turn it around, get back on track, start getting back to those 100 win seasons. And I'm acting like, you know, we're like going to fail and turn into like the worst team in, in baseball, which is not the case. You know, like we have a very good team. Um, I just don't. I just have a, a weird feeling that we're going to get in a just a tough spot because of how our our money situation is. So hopefully we don't go like into a point where we, we have to just trade away everybody because we can't afford to keep players around. So James Caprillion, I mean, as a long reliever, he's been really solid. He's on a super team friendly contract. I, I'm probably just going to keep him as long as he kind of hovers around this area. Dylan Floro. It depends on how much he wants. If he wants a lot of money, I'll probably let him walk. Caleb Ferguson is still doing pretty well. I don't understand why he's, you know, going down in potential. Pedro Baez struggled. Probably going to let him walk. Ramos, probably going to let him walk. No reason to keep a guy who's got that bad of a season going on. Uh, Presley was good. And then Kenley Jansen still pitching at an elite level. An elite level. Uh, Walker Bueller, really good season. Kershaw, really good year. Uh, Julio Urias, uh-oh. 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 Um, Tony Gonsolin did well. I don't, I don't understand why he's going down in rating. Like, he's still doing very well. And then you got Dustin May. So, pretty happy with it. We got a couple players starting to hit that point where they're looking pretty solid. Um, who? What's going on here? Did certain players get called up? I'm, I'm so confused because, like, ooh, who's this? I know we signed him a couple years ago, but I didn't expect him to do that well. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Um, all right. AJ Pollock's not coming back, but I mean, like he's been super consistent for us. So I'm not going to freak. Uh, let's see. Matt Beatty. Pretty good year. Okay. Looks like he's going to be our bench bat going forward. Keep it Ruiz. All right. Okay. Okay. Some interesting stats. It looks like Didi's starting to cool off a little bit. Like his attributes are going down, but like his numbers are still fantastic. Corey Seegers are still good. Mookie Betts, insane year. Same with Cody Bellinger. Jorge Soler still put up pretty good numbers. 35 home runs and 100 RBIs, and the OPS was under 800. That's wild. Max Muncy still putting up good numbers. I might keep him for another year. Gavin Lux is starting to warm up. I like seeing that. Ooh, power versus lefties went up 12. Okay. Uh, Jesus Sanchez had a pretty decent season. Yeah, I'll take it for sure. And then Will Smith is just going to hover around this number, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So we do have a couple other guys. You know, Calzado still down here and uh you know diego cartaya so okay we've got some names to keep an eye on i've been trying to kind of keep the the farm system looking looking good because i know at any point we might be in a tricky spot and we have to shed some players with big contracts and kind of lose our best players so against the reds we are eliminated what is going on with this team we, we shouldn't be losing these games like, it shouldn't even be close either. The Yankees defeat the Reds. And I know, I know people. You're making the team worse. You're losing games. How can you do that with such a good team? That's just the way franchise is sometimes, man. It's it's crazy. So Scherzer and Votto are in the Hall of Fame. And um, let's take a little peek here. Caprillion's on a super friendly contract. I'm going to take that. Matt Beatty's on a super friendly contract. I'm going to take that as well. 
Kershaw. Can we afford a one-year deal for Kershaw? Can you take $19 million and be happy with that? Um, Max Muncy. Huh. 15 mil. What does Jansen want? He can't want too much, right? 5 million? Yes. Oh, baby. What do you want, Dylan Floro? 6 mil? What about one year, 6 mil? How does that sound? And then I'm going to let Solaire go. We, we've got the bats. I feel like we have the bats, right? Seeger, Bats, Bellinger, Solaire, which is just going to be Sanchez. Beatty can come in and be a DH. Okay, yeah, I think we I think we have the bats to make it work. Plus, I have a feeling he's going to want crazy money. 13, when we're probably going to pick up Muncie's option. Ooh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I'm going to pick up Muncie's option. I'm going to let Solaire walk, and then I'm going to let everybody else walk. And then we're going to head into free agency and figure out what we want to do with the squad. So... What's our budget looking like? 1.5 million. All right. Making sure we don't lose those guys to free agency or the 40 man. I'm going to add everybody to arbitration. I'm going to give everybody a contract. We're not going to sign anybody. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do next season. Probably going to have to make a trade. So I'm still in the off season. And I'm actually looking to, for a way to get rid of some money and like players that I'm just, I'm not going to use. And one way to do it is to get Hans Kraus. Because we are going to need like a really good starting pitcher soon. Hans Kraus has got some decent stats. We could develop him a little bit more. And um, I was kind of looking around, seeing, like, who we could trade. And, like, unless we trade away, like, one of the big names, which we could, maybe? I'm trying to see here. Tony Gonsolin's only got one year left. Hmm. Dennis Santana. I'm going to trade Bruzdar. He's just not good. Like, he's just not going to be good. And uh, Cody Hose. Maybe, like... Edwin Rios it saves us a little bit more money. And then instead of Dennis Santana, who did I have? I had Cody Hose. Does that make the deal? It doesn't. Ooh, so close. Um, ooh, Matt Beatty doesn't make a deal happen. So I guess we're going to have to do this. Or what about Mitchell White? He's 28. I mean, he's on a super friendly contract. And if he continues to develop, he could also be a pitcher for us. So instead of Edwin Rios, what I'll do is I'll just throw in Cody Hose, get the deal done. Boom. There's a little bit of money. All right, so we're in 2024. And I have a couple claims on some players. I'll show you which ones I do have. I put one. Like, Clark Schmidt was like, okay. But I did Josh Naylor. I was like, maybe he could be a good power bat for us. Um, it is another lefty, though, which we don't necessarily need. And then Mike Mayers of the Angels. I figured I'd pick him up, even though I just did a 10-year Angel rebuild. But he was one of the better relievers available. Austin Gomber is there as well. And oh, ooh, maybe he's an option. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. I'll keep my eye on that. There's a couple other players that I was like, hey, there's... We could use them, but then I was like, I'll hold off. I'll hold off. So let's take a look at our offseason. Uh, Shirt and Apostle was available in free agency. Signed him to a, like a four-year deal. I figured that's not a bad little pickup. 25-year-old would be potential. Yes, please. Uh, Marcus Semyon was available as well. I did a two-year club option. I'm probably not going to pick up the second option, but we'll see how he does as an extra bat for us. And then there was a couple players, you know, the, the draft and things like that. Hans Kraus through the trade. And this is our team. The pitching rotation is untouched. I'm actually going to go like that. Kind of like how we've had it. And then Bobby Miller was called up. He's not ready, but I can't send him down because he'll get picked up by waivers. And then Pete Greer is one of our better relievers available. He looks pretty solid, actually. So I'm going to put him in the squad. And then we have a few players on waivers. And uh, hopefully we can fill out the squad from there. I think Bobby Miller will do all right. But you guys can see the squad here as well. We've definitely taken a step back, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping Jesus Sanchez starts to pop off. I feel like that'll be a decent little pickup for us if he does. And then, to be honest, though, the team still looks pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of lefties, like I've been saying. So Josh Naylor, picking him up doesn't really help that problem. But I'm thinking we trade Will Smith and then let Kiebert Ruiz take over. And then, you know, we, we definitely have, like, all these guys down here. You know, Rodriguez. We've got Calzado. 
we've got a couple prospects as well so i'm gonna see if those claims go through if they do you'll see them on the team later but i'll see you guys at draft day and we'll go from there all right draft time let's take a look here and okay it was a little bit better kenny hill's got some speed decent hitting stats but again not a really good fielder we've got domingo valenzuela who's got speed that's really about it some potential too but like no good hitting stats and then uh chris borvin actually could be decent it just depends on how his per nines develop and then henry gunter with 74 potential so it, it's getting a little bit better but uh still not great all right so again another division win and we just gotta get that world series we gotta get back to the world series we're 108 and 54 and all right i mean again we're just we're taking the west by storm the era is solid like the pitching is definitely carrying the squad i'm not saying we don't have a good offense but man that 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 pitching is uh next level like really next level so league leaders it looks like bellinger had the most home runs and Corey seager had the most runs and then kershaw once again is just killing it like i don't want him to leave but i feel like we, we just can't really afford to keep paying him a lot of money especially since we're gonna have players like dustin may um gavin lux and a couple other players there that are gonna start to ask for some money and we just can't really afford all of them you know so mvp we finally got a good award we got a gold glove for mookie bets as well and looking around the league walker bueller just missed out on a cy young what else do we have here daniel norris reliever of the year really okay and then all right okay some interesting names are starting to pop up kyle lewis is on the yankees okay james caprillion still putting up really good numbers man like really happy with this pickup it's not like a flashy pickup or anything but i feel like that'd be something the dodgers would do they'd pick up someone that's just like not been crazy good and then somehow just turn him into like an all-star caleb ferguson yeah uh bobby miller did really well in his debut season i'll definitely take that you know dylan floro did well i'm probably gonna let him walk though we've got players in the farm system that definitely can replace them uh mike May mike mayers or myers did very well very happy with that waiver claim Ryan, uh, Ryan Presley, he's going to start to fall off in overall, though. You can see it's already happening. So last season with the team, did very well. Not going to complain at all. And Kenley Jansen, still crazy good. Um, but he is falling off, so it might be time for some of these younger guys to start popping up. Like Pete Greer, I think he could be like maybe one or two seasons. Just give him a chance to really prove himself. He could be pretty solid. We've got quite a few uh, starters here that are uh, probably getting to the point where they could hop into the, the starting rotation. So maybe maybe we let caprillion go and then maybe like gonsolin as he ages starts to move into the bullpen and then we can let one of those younger guys come up because like walker bueller is really good clayton kershaw is still very very good and oh man i think that's his last season i think it is julio urias is still putting up good numbers dustin may and he becomes a free agent after not this offseason, but next offseason. He's got one more year of arbitration. But uh, maybe Tony Gonsolin, as you can see, he's starting to fall off. Maybe he goes here. Or maybe we just let him walk. It just depends on what the contract situation is. One more year. Maybe he becomes a long reliever. Or maybe we move him into the bullpen. It really just depends. Because like like I mentioned, we've, we've, got, we've got some good prospects here. Josiah Gray is like right there. He's like ready to go. Hans Kraus. We've got Ibar. Mitchell White. So, Batista is looking pretty solid for 21 years old. I think we've got Carrillo here, Gomez, Knack, Jackson. Yeah, we've got some pretty solid pitchers. So, like, I'm pretty excited to see what we can do with the squad. You know, we, we, we're we going to get tight on money. That was another big worry about mine. But let's take a look at our bench. Jaron Kendall. Not too bad. Uh, Lipka. Why did he get called up? Did someone get sent down? Edwin Rios got sent down. Okay, so Lipka got called up. Why not anybody else? Anybody else but Lipka. Uh, Calzado looks like he's going to be pretty decent now. Uh, Semyon, pretty decent season. I'll take that for a year. Not going to complain about that. Shirt and Apostle for his appearances did quite well. Kiebert Ruiz, I feel like he just needs a full season. And then back to Jaron Kendall. Matt Beatty got put into the leadoff role and did really well, to be honest. And like arbitration, might as well bring him back. You know, Corey Seager's still putting up elite numbers. Same with Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, Max Muncy. This is 100% his last year. I'm not going to bring him back. He's going to cost too much. Gavin Lux. 
I'm gonna let him do his arbitration year the last arbitration year if he can't put up like something like this again I'm gonna let him walk there's no point in um keeping him or maybe go to the all-star break and see if he does well if he does poorly get him out of here uh Jesus Sanchez is is getting better he's still 26 so and we got him on a really friendly contract I'm not gonna freak out about that and then Josh Naylor not terrible potential went down but like still pretty good numbers so I'm pretty happy with that and Will Smith he's got one more year on his contract maybe we trade him and just let uh Kiebert Ruiz take over because like there's no reason to keep the guy uh Will Smith around when we can just have Kiebert Ruiz take over so here we go what do we got here or maybe let uh Will Smith be like a DH we'll, we'll figure out what we do with the squad and we advance to the next round so we're taking on the Nationals and um, we got to get our best foot forward. So, wow, Kershaw got rocked. Actually, like every starter got rocked. What happened? Why are why are the Dodgers like playoff version of pitchers showing up in this rebuild? Like, why are we not getting the the good stuff? You know what I mean? So we've got Kershaw versus Patrick Sandoval. We lose that, of course. Urias gets us the win there. Then we lose. We lose again. And then we lost in the World Series to the Los Angeles Angels, which I'm pretty sure this is the second time that's happened. So, what the heck, Angels? Why are you doing that to me? And, you know, if you haven't seen the, the Angels rebuild, make sure you go and watch that. Because you'll see how unlucky I was with the Angels as well. So, Dylan Floro, I'm going to let walk. Kenley Jansen. What, what are you looking like again? I got to let him go. I got to be smart about it. I'm going to decline the option for Semyon. Kershaw, what do you want? 10 mil one more year one more year it's Clayton Kershaw man I can't I can't just let him go out like that and then I think um, I think everybody else is gonna go for a walk headed to uh, free agency so what do we got here let's take a look at the squad so I'm thinking maybe I'm not too sure about Caprillion I'm gonna make sure I add everybody to the 40 man arbitration Caprillion should be here I'm thinking about Gonsolin moving to the bullpen and then letting Caprillion walk, adding everybody to arbitration, contracts, giving everybody a contract, and then not signing anybody just because I know some players are starting to hit free agency. All right, still in the offseason, and I'm making a trade because I really need a closer, and I don't really like any of the options that are available in free agency. Boom. We're going to the Mariners for David Zarate. He's 23, 81 overall. His stats look really good besides his hits per nine, but I don't really care, to be honest. He's on a really friendly contract for basically the rest of the rebuild. So, boom. Edwin Rios, Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah Green, and Devin Mann are going to be traded to make this happen. Boom. That kind of helps us out because I don't think we need another pitcher now. I think. We'll, we'll wait and see. But I'll see you guys for next season. All right. So the season's starting. And uh, let's take a look at how everything's looking. So I just signed Dustin May to an extension. Rest of the rebuild. He's been outstanding. Like really, really good. So I was happy to give him an extension. We signed this guy as a backup going forward. Because I'm most likely going to get rid of Will Smith. The thing is like I just don't know who to replace. Like everybody's been really good. And I signed a couple guys in free agency. Just because they, they look like they were okay players to have with the squad so i think that might be it uh budget is still looking pretty good uh gavin lux i don't think i'm gonna bring him back and then that's kind of why i'm thinking maybe we just trade gavin lux now and see if we can get like one of the best second baseman like prospects or with gavin lux kershaw maybe gonsolin leaving and a couple other guys leaving we could probably afford like a really good second baseman for the future and like for the rest of the rebuild like we do have calzado but he he's more of a third baseman and we have a couple other guys who i just don't think are ready to like fill the gavin lux shoes just yet but i definitely think like we have good players we just need a second baseman for the future sepulveda actually doesn't look too bad but you know is he like starting lineup ready so I'm going to see how it goes at the deadline. If we need to make a change, I will make a trade. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the team. Like, this is actually a really solid team. And I'm pretty happy with what we were able to put together. So, um, there should be... Yeah. He goes there. He goes there. And then Hans Kraus will probably take over for 
Kershaw next year. And then we should be fine like going forward. Um, I do have a couple players on waivers that will fill out the rest of the roster. So we're good. Lineup's looking good. I really like the team. I'll see you guys at... What's this 2025 so i guess the 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 draft day yeah see you then all right so let's take a look at the draft see how it went Ooh, okay this is probably gonna be one of our last drafts and we finally maybe hit the gold mine okay that's pretty good i like that okay finally finally we get some good picks so you know how i said i think i said earlier i wasn't gonna get lindor i lied um yeah I looked at second baseman, couldn't find any, and I looked around the league at different shortstops that we could get, and I looked, I, I really did, I looked at like, I mean, I mean, maybe Bobby Witt, he's still 24, arbitration basically brings him to, ooh, actually, I might change my mind now, like, yeah, Lindor's cool, but I feel like that's kind of expected, you know what I mean, Dansby Swanson, eh, Bobby Witt, though, I mean, his stats look decent he's got those contact numbers and then we'd move Seeger to second or maybe move wit to second since Seeger's already established that short i'm down with this trade yeah 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 can we get a maybe like a little bullpen arm that's got it's a little younger no all right you know what i'll take this straight up to be honest this is it's a pretty decent deal so there we go boom that I mean that's gonna save us some money too so man that was actually i'm pretty happy with that one gives us actually kind of gives us a leadoff hitter too because we were lacking a, like a true leadoff hitter because gavin lux was not the guy but everybody else is doing pretty solid uh, a couple pitchers are a little iffy but you know what I, we'll make it work we're gonna see out the rest of the year i'm pretty sure i handled all my contract extensions can't bring back Kershaw, not at the age of 38. Just got to let him walk. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so again, we won the division. 98 and 64. Boom. Winner of the wild card is going to be our opponent for the playoffs. And uh, we won the division by 10 games once again. The ERA as a team did go up a little bit, but we're starting to let some of those newer guys get in the mix. So, you know, they're obviously not as good as like a prime Kershaw. So, we're going to take a couple hits here and there, but Julio Urias had a phenomenal season. David Zarate had the most uh, saves as well, so that's good to see. Matt Beatty is a player that, like, I did not expect anything out of. I thought he was just going to be a role player, you know, like kind of a platoon guy, maybe get his bats here and there. But, wow, has he been really, really good. Like, I, I've been, like, just keeping him in the team just because, like, I don't want to get rid of him. Like, he's been really, really good for the squad so i'm absolutely like flabbergasted by it so we have a cy young for julio urias and that was it okay gene lau actually looks pretty good i'll show you his stats here uh, he actually looks pretty good 22 years old as well switch hitter wow he's gonna be uh, a menace for the phillies for quite some time but um you guys can see the different award winners as we go through it kyle lewis is a player that i probably should try to get in a future rebuild because he always tears it up and he always does so well but um tony gonsolin is definitely falling off he's going to be done after this year um we have pitchers for sure that can fill this role and even at the you know after falling that much overall points he still did pretty well james kapillion is continuing to do solid as well so like if we can get him for cheap we could always keep him on the team uh pete greer is uh kind of hit his match didn't didn't really do as well as i would have hoped bobby miller though is continuing to do well love seeing that caleb ferguson back on track mike Myers or myers is doing really well and then david zarate had the most saves but like the whip's good he just allowed a few runs so we do have players we have a lot of starters so i might like package some of them to become a like just get a reliever out of it because we we actually have like a lot of starters like i'm pretty sure all these so we got one starter, two starter, three starter, and then all of these guys. So let's take a look at our starters now. Walker Bueller was good. Urias was a Cy Young winner. Dustin May, I praised him at the beginning of the year. And uh, the ERA is high, but the whip's actually really solid. Like his best whip of his career. So I guess I can't be too upset by that. Kershaw is still putting up really, really good numbers. And then Josiah Gray, you know what? He's only going to get better. He's a 91 overall. And uh, we got him locked up for basically the entire rebuild. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
I'll probably call up probably Hans Kraus. Give him a shot. See how he does. You know, we, we do have this guy as well who's got some really good stats. So he might get called up too. It just really all depends on who does well and who does poorly. Um, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of good starters. Like even Ezra Gomez is looking really good. So I don't know how we're going to get all these guys in the mix. But we're going to somehow, some way. Uh, let's take a look at our bench. It was it was okay, nothing special as expected. Uh, Bobby Witt. All right, we'll see how he continues to develop. Corey Seager still putting up close to 40 home runs. Mookie Betts is still putting up really good numbers. He's slowly starting to fall down, but I think he'll be okay. Cody Bellinger is doing really well. I'm telling you, this guy I did not expect it at all, and like he's just putting up really really good numbers. Love to see it. Josh Naylor put up 32 home runs. Um, he's basically like our new Muncie. That's really what it is. Kiebert Ruiz, okay. First, like, first, like, half a season. He's going to get his first full season next year. Jesus Sanchez is getting really good. Love to see it. And then even Shirt and Apostle. We'll see how he does next year. He's going to have some competition, though, with this guy. Elvis Calzado. He's coming up 100%. And uh, he's going to be fighting it out for that third base spot. And then we also have a couple other players that um, right on the cusp of getting called up. So, here we go off season time or post season time let's not get eliminated what is going on our Cy Young winning pitcher lasted three innings is that what I saw three innings Wow love it love it love it so next Kenley Jansen retired with the Padres Wow he went to the Padres dang um, so next season in the sixth year, what I'll do is I'll do a lineup recap because I didn't do it in the fifth year, but, um, I think Caleb Ferguson, if he can come back on a cheap deal, he's not going to be the closer. Unfortunately, we just, we have a closer, but let's go like eight mil, nine mil. That's a lot. If he comes back for that, I'll be okay. I'm going to let the other two walk, even though they're like, just been really good this entire time. Um, did Caleb Ferguson sign? He did. Okay. What's our budget looking like? Two mil. Can't really afford to bring anybody in. All right. So I'm going to get rid of some of these extra starting pitchers that I have and try to get some, something in return, like some relievers, some depth, something that could help us out in the future. I'm going to trade uh, Gerardo Carrillo. We're just not going to use him. I've looked at his stats. He's 27. He's like 82 overall. I just... Like, I'm not going to use him. That's really what it is. I'm going to get rid of Greer as well because he's terrible. I'm going to get Luciano and John Love from the White Sox, two decent looking relievers. Um, and then there's a couple other, like Mitchell Grove, not gonna use at 29. Uh, Mitchell White, like he doesn't look terrible. And like we gave him an opportunity and he actually did very well. It's just stats wise, he's probably not gonna be that great. So I'm trying to see like who I could end up losing soon. And I'm gonna see if I can find like a first base prospect somewhere, just in case Matt Beatty starts falling off. All right, so I'm going to trade Grove, White, and Yasel Antuna. I think we signed him last free agency or the year before for Derek Bell of the Marlins. First base prospect. I looked at other teams, and um, because I'm still in, like, the free agency, like, period, a lot of players haven't, like, fully signed contracts. And also, there's just not a lot of, like, good first base prospects. Can't trade with the Giants, so that's a little unfortunate. I would have definitely taken that guy. What about this guy, Marcel Parazzo? Looks okay, looks okay, but I think uh, I think I am gonna go with that one guy. Um, where did he go? He is right here. Boom. So that's the trade, and I think that might be it for now. I feel like that got rid of some of the starters that we're not gonna use, or just yeah, probably yeah, that opened up a bunch. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys at the start of the season. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look. Um, obviously, we have the first year draft. We just made that trade, trade, made that trade, signed this guy last season. So actually not too much has changed with the squad. We're actually in a healthy budget situation for once with a million. And um, yeah, there's got some arbitration. A couple players start hitting free agency. But for the most part, we should be good for the rest of the rebuild. Like we shouldn't have to stress about certain players or anything like that. I think 2029 going into 2030, we might have a couple issues, which realistically isn't a, isn't too far away, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work for sure. So let's go take a look around the league and see how other teams are looking. 
Machado and Tatis. Okay, Rowdy Tellez. That's a pretty solid team. Even the Giants are looking good. Like, the West isn't actually that bad. You've got the Red Sox here. Okay, so before we show our team, obviously, I wanted to look at the, the other teams around the league just to kind of get an idea of who's doing well, who's doing poorly, who's gone where. And this is, what, season six? So we're in, like, what, 2026, I believe this is, 2027. I get them all mixed up all the time just because I don't really pay attention. I just try to make sure that I stay within budget. I try to make a good team. And we just kind of build off that rather than me focusing on what year it really is. So, all right. There's that. We'll take a look at the pitching as well just to kind of see who's really developed and who's turned into, like, a really good pitcher. Zach Allen is always one of those guys that just just doesn't do it i don't know why in real life he's a stud like he's one of the best pitchers right now in baseball like he's got all those tools he's gonna be nasty for years to come and uh for some reason in mlb the show he just isn't good i don't know why i just don't um okay so there's also some names that i'm looking that i want to keep my eye on for future rebuilds because um for future rebuilds i definitely want to start going out making more trades making more signings kind of like i did with the chicago white Sox, where i kind of went like full-on crazy with all the signings all the trades and everything like that especially since the last couple rebuilds i've been letting prospects develop i've been kind of keeping a core and everything like that so i might pick a team next whichever team you guys end up like wanting to see the most maybe i'll kind of go crazy with them and see what i can do um it, it's kind of difficult too when you have like bueller may bellinger urias betts kershaw seager like a lot of big contracts with some high rated players so We'll definitely uh, try to go a little bit crazier um, with signings and trades in the future. But this is the team. Here we go. I'm actually really liking this team. I really am. I think it's a, I think it's going to be a really solid team. Plus, this guy's going to get in the mix at uh, first base. We got him at, what, some area. We'll, we'll figure out a, the team. But, like, yeah, our starting lineup is amazing. The pitching rotation looks really good as well. And uh, I know we're first. We're actually first in, like, every category, I think uh contact pitching yeah like speed we're a little slow but outside of that we're looking really really good so yeah this is 2026 so we've got four years after this year let's see how this one goes all right 102 and 60 and like we just we got, I gotta get to world series and i gotta win a world series another one i can't stop uh i i, I, uh, I just gotta stop losing in the playoffs i feel like we're just maybe getting unlucky i don't know am i getting unlucky or am i just the team's just not good enough i mean we're the best team in baseball statistically and then looking at league leaders cody bellinger if he didn't win mvp i don't know what to say about that but okay let's see uh what else we got here bobby witt jr led the league and i think that was batting average or something like that and then home runs was lindor and then 59 for cody bellinger for home runs all right triple crown for cody bellinger haven't won that in quite some time wow okay that might be like the first or second time that's happened for me in a while we had two players in the cy young uh race but yeah lucas giolito definitely deserved that and lucas giolito goes to the cubs like a lot in rebuilds i feel like that's like three or four in a row where i've seen him go to the the cubs um oh okay that guy's pretty good yeah, that guy's pretty good. All right. And, uh, okay. Keep my eye on him just in case we ever need a first baseman. So let's uh, let's get this going. John Love uh, got no love this season. He got roughed up a little bit. Bobby Miller's still doing very well in this middle relief spot. James Caprillion, same thing. I mean, this guy's proven his worth. Like, super boring pickup. But, man, has he been good. Uh, Mike Myers is starting to fall off a little bit. Elvis Luciano was fantastic. Caleb Ferguson was really good in this holding spot. And then uh, David Zarate is getting really good. Yes, love it. I'm, I'm happy with the way the team's starting to shape up. Uh, I really wanted Jordan Sheffield to get in the mix, but the CPU keeps throwing, throwing him on waivers, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, we got Bueller, really good season. And uh, what else we got here? Urias is doing well. He becomes a free agent soon. But like I mentioned, around that 30-year mark, he starts to fall off. So that's why I kind of set it up this way so that we'd be okay with uh, pitchers. And then uh, Dustin May, okay. Josiah Gray, there we go. And then Hans Kraus, four ERA, 1.3 whip, that's good. So Urias, it'll probably be his last year next year. And then Mario Batista will be what, 24, 25? He can pop right into the rotation. Boom, look at that. Sets it up perfectly. And then 
I don't dude, we might even have someone else ready by that time. Like Landon might be ready. Ezra Gomez might be ready. We might be set. Oh yeah, we're definitely set with pitching. So let's take a look at the bench. Sepulveda is like pretty decent bench bat. You got Kendall, Carson Tucker, Shirt and Apostle. Okay, I like to see that. Diego Cartaya as a backup catcher. Bobby Wood, our leadoff guy, had a really good season. Love seeing that. Corey Seager still putting up monster numbers. I'll, I'm interested to see how he continues to either develop or regress. Because if he just kind of falls off the face of the earth, we probably won't bring him back. We'll move Bobby Witt to short, and then we'll just find a second baseman. Mookie Betts is probably going to start to slowly start to, you know, go down in rating too. Um, Cody Bellinger is still putting up really good numbers. I mean, triple crown winner for him. Uh, Matt Beatty is starting to go down a little bit, which is uh, sad to see. But, you know, all good things come to an end. Jesus Sanchez, potential is going down, but he had a really good year. You know what? And then uh, Elvis Calzado. We'll see how he does. He's still young. He'll still develop. So I'm, wait I'm kind of intrigued by this. Josh Naylor. He might just be our new first baseman. Take over for Matt Beatty and then Kiebert Ruiz. Yikes. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe Josh Baylor takes over for Matt Beatty. Josh Naylor for Matt Beatty. And then we'll figure out either like Apostle or somebody else can come in. Uh, Derek Bell could come up too. So yeah. Oh yeah, we got options for days. All right time to win a world series what happened where are we what happened it like glitched out there didn't show the rockies so here we go and we are gonna get knocked out i already know it what i just why huh just why the reds defeat the astros and uh yeah super disappointing once again a first round exit like unbelievable um super cheap option i'm gonna pick it up james caprillion like can i yeah we're, we're bringing you back we'll do a two-year option you've been outstanding for us three mil a year matt Beatty. i think it's time man you were a crazy good player super underrated i did not expect that from you at all but it's time to move on to new things i'm gonna make sure bell gets added to the squad and then ezra gomez as well i see them kind of hiding him over there i didn't like that he's usually at the front the higher rated players i'm gonna add every oh no mayors is not gonna come back he did struggle and he's starting to fall off so we are gonna need a new bullpen arm i think we should have one and then contracts to everybody all right 2027 let's go take a quick little look at everything so I uh, signed Josh Naylor to a little bit of an extension. I, I kind of regret it. I'm not going to lie. I I, I, I kind of regret it. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr. signed him to an extension as well. And then these two guys were just to kind of fill out the rest of the roster. And budget-wise, we're actually pretty good. Like, we're pretty healthy. Um, we're going to lose Urias after this year, which is kind of the plan anyways. Just because he, for some reason, once he hits 30, just kind of falls off in franchise. So I'm just going to take the precaution and let him walk. The thing is, I'm a little worried about Walker Bueller leaving in the last year of the rebuild. On top of that, Mookie Betts. But the thing is, Mookie Betts is signed, I think, way past 2030. So I'm just going to extend his contract to make it realistic. And then Corey Seager, I don't want to lose him either. So he's another player that I'm like, uh, we got to pay him. So we're we're in a, a little bit of a pickle, but I have a feeling I'm gonna want to trade some players or let some players walk in free agency just based on the fact that some may fall off, some may do poorly, or I just want to change it up and I want some new faces on the lineup. So here's the pitching staff. We've got Mario Batista hopping into it. Hans Kraus, I'm hoping continues to develop. But uh yeah, this is the squad. John Love hopefully does a little bit better in this role. And then when you take a look at the lineup, this is um, this is what we got. Derek Bell has hopped into it, and that's really about it. I'll see you guys at the end of 2027, and hopefully we can get another World Series because I, I feel like the I feel like the Dodgers in the playoff in real life up until this year. Like everything is just not going our way. So let's see how it goes. All right, so our reign at the top of the division has come to an end, which is uh, not good. 96 and 66 we're taking the phillies on in a wild card game which means we're getting knocked out we we haven't been a good team and the padres have finally dethroned us so we're the first ranked team in baseball still but the team era is a little high so i have a feeling something went pretty poorly 
if we're in the fours for the first time and i think like five six seasons like it's it's been a little wild so all right let's go see uh let's go see where things went wrong bobby wood jr had the most hits and then hans kraus had the best winning percentage so at least we have that i see plenty of people with high banning averages which i love to see but um let's let's kind of take a look see how else or how well you know things went with the team so mookie bats had some doubles i see that bobby witt jr is up there for doubles as well we got some triples with bellinger what about home runs i see Naylor up there okay mookie bats bobby witt jr was up there okay all right so let's oh we got an award let me guess gold glove that's what i was gonna guess we did win a cy young so that's cool i guess um didn't expect that walker bueller took it over Eniel de los santos and then hans kraus was in the mix as well so maybe that trade for hans kraus is gonna prove to be pretty helpful for us because for some reason our pitching has been pretty abysmal pretty abysmal so we'll see what we can do let's go take a look at our our uh our pitching because that was what looked a little little suspect mario batista he's up to an 89 um maybe he'll do better as a starter we'll have to wait and see bobby miller oh no oh no uh oh not not good you hate seeing that john love didn't do great elvis luciano did well though okay caprillion continues to do well caleb ferguson's doing well and then david zarate is doing really well okay so there's that and then let's take a look at our starters so we got bueller dustin may struggled a little bit josiah gray oh no oh oh no hans kraus though oh kind of nasty but the rest I might move Kraus up just based on what I saw there because that was that was kind of ugly. And then when you look at, oh, Carlos Sepulveda, kind of nice. Limited appearances, but kind of nice. Jaron Kendall was decent. Carson Tucker, okay. Shirt and Apostle was eh. And then Diego Cartaya, okay, 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 okay. So Bobby Witt in the leadoff spot did very well. We got Corey Seager. We got Mookie Betts. Everybody's putting up really good numbers offensively. Okay, Josh Naylor showing he's worth that contract um calzado is not really doing it yet not really doing it yet hopefully he can put something together next year jesus sanchez is putting up decent numbers home run numbers are going down though huh okay and then Derek bell his first year it was okay definitely expecting a little bit better and then you got kiebert ruiz okay all right let's head into the postseason let's see how these things went and we'll uh continue to not lose all right we won good and then going against the padres now please don't get eliminated just just don't lose there we go now we're taking on the marlins okay so the marlins are kind of nasty huh just please don't get eliminated at least make it to the world series and like at the end of the series we had our two best pitchers in uh bueller and hans kraus and we, we still lost we still lost like it's just what is going on with this team i don't get it man i really don't so head into the offseason the indians defeat the marlins and what is why can't we just win a world series why can't i win a world series why am i cursed why am i cursed clayton kershaw has entered the hall of fame good he deserves it and uh like i said julio Urias, no caprillian's been so good gonna take that option sepulveda I'll take that option as well. But Urias, nah. I already know bad things are going to happen. So let's keep moving forward. Let's see here. 40 man. I'm going to... Oh, I got to make sure Howie's there because he's actually a really good hitter. And then arbitration. I think everybody's going to get arbitration. I'm going to think about Bobby Miller. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And then everybody's going to get a contract. Budget-wise, again, I got to be kind of smart with everything just because we do have like Mookie Betts and Corey Seager becoming a free agent kind of soon and I want to make sure that if I want to be it if I like if I want to sign him I have the opportunity to so we might make a trade though based on how the pitching went because that was kind of ugly so that was kind of ugly I think I think a, a trade is kind of necessary offensively though we've been really good with our pickups and I feel like we've actually done pretty well all right 2028 we got a few years left and um kind of the same thing same thing just a different year you know uh contracts are looking a little little iffy Seeger, ferguson ruiz sanchez all become free agents so that's something to kind of keep in the back of our head as we head into this season nothing happened in free agency like kept it pretty simple i didn't really want to go out and spend money because 
we don't really have money to spend that's really what it comes down to so this is what the team is going to look like uh jordan sheffield a player that i've actually kind of been wanting to put into the bullpen keeps getting put on waivers so we're going to give him a shot um what's his name john love got sent down so i'll make sure this is all good to go so it's not all jumbled up ezra gomez is going to be a long reliever we've got mario batista hans kraus josiah gray who i'm going to swap with hans kraus and this maybe make gray the five and rock like this for our starting rotation and then when you look at the lineup nothing really has changed we've got our first baseman leading off and then bat seager bellinger sanchez witt jr naylor ruiz and calzado our bench currently looks like this it looks pretty solid pretty similar to what it's been for the last few years and um, i'm thinking after this year once we figure out if we want to keep like bets or jesus sanchez or anybody like that if we don't keep any of those guys <clears throat> i said bets i meant seager jesus sanchez you know kiebert ruiz if we don't really keep any of those guys then i think we'll probably go out and make like a big trade with somebody and we'll go from there so this is kind of like the last year of kind of experimenting and trying out the same kind of players and then 2029 and 2030 is the years where i'll start going kind of big with some trades and things like that so i'll see you guys at the end of the year all right so again division win we know how this goes we're about to get knocked out first round of the postseason i don't think i've ever been this unlucky like this is bad um but you guys can see how we did as a team we're still ranked first for a lot of things and like on paper we're still the best team in baseball it's just you know when it oh we're not actually the cubs are wow okay and uh yeah i mean it's just it just sucks because like we have a very very good team and we keep getting knocked out first round and it's like come on man we're so much better than this we should be doing better than this and we're not so a couple couple housekeeping things I re-signed Seager and Jesus Sanchez both to two-year deals. I believe it was two-year deals. And um, that way, if we don't like them after this next coming season, we'll just let them walk. That's really what it came down to. I, I like the run production that they're giving us. I just feel like they're Sanchez is 30. Seager is going to be, I think it's 33 right now. So I'll show you the, the deals that we got working. So Seager is going to get $31 million next year and then if we keep him again he'll get 31 million and then jesus sanchez gets 25 and if we keep him for that final season he'll be 25 so 2029 is going to be like that that test year just to kind of see how they do and then um we'll go from there i don't know if we'll keep seager or sanchez to be honest i kind of want to go out and get new players just to see if we can kind of you know reignite a dynasty because like we're, we've been good we've been making the postseason we've been killing it it's just we haven't been able to take it to the next step. So we'll see what happens. So Ezra Gomez looks pretty solid in this long relief role. Luciano sucks. So that's not good. Bobby Miller. Caprillion, though, is like really solid. You got Jordan Sheffield, who was OK. Caleb Ferguson was good. And then Zarate, who's a 97 overall, is killing it right now. So love it. Love it. Love it. Walker Bueller, outstanding. Same with Hans Kraus. Dustin May struggled a bit, but like he's he's locked up for the the rest of the rebuild mario batista and then josiah gray okay so i think we've kind of like maxed out the players that we could use from our farm system so we're kind of relying on these guys to do well hopefully as they continue to develop they will and otherwise we're, we're gonna have to make some trades so kendall's there we got carson tucker apostle probably gonna let him walk in free agency this year luis rodriguez diego cartaya and back to Kendall. So bench was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Bench was pretty disappointing. Derek Bell, still pretty good. I mean, he's putting up good numbers. Mookie Betts, he's he's slowly starting to fall off. So um, I'm gonna let his contract run out and then try to get him on a cheaper deal. Even though I know in real life he's locked up for like five years after that this contract expires. Corey Seager's still putting up career numbers. Same with Cody Bellinger. Jesus Sanchez, he just doesn't have power. Which is weird. He's six foot three, two thirty. You would think he'd be able to, you know, unload on the ball. But I mean, he's still hitting for crazy good on base percentage, average slugging, and OPS. You got Bobby Wood Jr. putting up good numbers. Josh Naylor took a little step back. Um, if he doesn't do well next year, I'll trade him. That's really what it comes down to. And then Kiebert Ruiz had his best year of his career, so of course it's in his contract year. So we'll have to wait and see. And then Elvis Calzado, twenty five. I said I was only going to give him one more year, but I'm going to give him one more because we have him locked up. Might as well 
use him while he's on a pretty friendly contract. So here we go against Miami. We advance. Okay. <clears throat> so instead of Josiah Gray, we're going to go with Bueller. Hans Kraus did well. We'll go Batista instead of May. <clears throat> and then I might just say May doesn't get to pitch in the postseason with how he did. And okay. We get the win there. And it's going to be Bueller in the World Series starting us off in game one against Spencer Howard. We take a loss. And then another loss. We win that one. Dustin May gets us back equal two to two, two to three. Do, what is with is Bueller the new Kershaw in the postseason? Like, is that what's what's happening right now? Like, I I can't I can't win a World Series, man. What is going on? Lost in the World Series in 2024. We lost in the World Series. We lost in the NLDS, NLDS, NLDS. Oh, the elusive World Series, man. What have we only won one? I think we've only won one. That's not good enough, dude. Freddie Freeman makes it to the Hall of Fame and. Here we go. We're going to take Bueller's options. So that means it's the last year of his contract. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to we're going to exercise this option. Kiber Ruiz is going to want a lot of money. Yeah. We got Cartaya. As good as Kiber Ruiz is, it took him until this year to prove that he can hit and he really didn't even improve that much. I'm going to let him walk. Caleb Ferguson put up good numbers. He's probably going to want similar to what he did last year. And um, what was it like nine million? If he takes that, I'm pretty happy with it. Jordan Sheffield wasn't great. I'm gonna let him walk. Caprillion looks like he's kind of holding the same rating, but I think it's time for him to walk as well. I said I was gonna let Apostle go. I'm gonna let John Love. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give John Love another shot, and then I'm gonna let these guys walk. Besides Ferguson, Ferguson was the one I gave a deal to, and let's. I have an unexercised option. Which one? Oh, there it is. Boom. Decline. Sorry, bud. Just, just didn't work out. Sorry. You know, it wasn't you. It's me. You know, that's how it goes. So I'm going to add those players to the 40 man. I actually want to check out that second baseman. See what he's looking like. Not a great hitter. Not a great hitter at all. So we might we might spend a little cash. We don't have much to work with, but we might spend a little cash. Alrighty, 2029, we're just going to go on a spree of acquiring relievers because that's what we need the most, like really badly. I'm going to go for Luis Oviedo of the Tigers. Had a really good year last year and hoping he does it again. We're going to trade Landon Sledge. We're going to trade Landon. He's uh, he's going to leave and we're just going to keep. I think we need like three more relievers because the other ones that we have are not good. <laughs> we're going to give Bruce Dar another shot. You can see he's definitely improved. I guess I just had to wait eight years for it to happen. Because basically since we traded him, he he didn't even really pitch. So we're gonna we're gonna give him a shot. We're gonna give him one more one more go, see how it goes. And then we're gonna get Peter Alvarez of the Phillies. This is the last one for Ibar and Bobby Miller. And then I think I wanna make a trade to the lineup. I just don't know what yet. So let me let me take a look at the budget, see how we're we're doing. I think maybe Josh Naylor. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to trade Josh Naylor. So if I trade him, what do we need to add to the lineup? A DH. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's, e that's easy to find. We can definitely find someone that just, we'll throw in Brandino or Brandano. And this is his last year. If he doesn't, if he doesn't do anything, I got to get a new third baseman. So do I actually need to trade Naylor? Maybe not yet. Maybe I save it till next year. Maybe I save it until next year, and then we just go all out and see if we can get a third baseman. Because we have Brandano, who's definitely a DH. And then that might be the move. We just uh, we wait till next year and then kind of build from there. Because we, we definitely changed the pitching rotation up a little bit. You guys can see Alvarez. We just brought back Gratterall. You got Ferguson, Oviedo, Zarate. What's Gratterall looking? Is, is he a setup guy now? Is he a long reliever? I don't know. But this is, this is a pretty solid squad. I'm liking, I'm liking what we got here. I extended the contract of Walker Bueller and Mookie Betts so that they'll be here for the rest of the rebuild. And then we'll have to kind of figure out what we want to do with the rest of the team. So there's that. Another thing I had to tell you was prior to 2028, so 2027 going into 2028, I had to resim the season because uh, <laughs> I had a, like a little short power shortage and I didn't save 
after I finished 2027. So I had to resim 2027. So that's why some of the stats weren't the same that I showed you. And, um, or actually they all weren't gonna be the same as that I showed you originally. So um, nothing changed, but like we didn't win a World Series or anything. Like basically I just had to resim it because I didn't get to save it before the, the little short happened. So I lost all 2027. Had to just quickly sim it. So that's why if any of the stats are different, that's why you know. So we're in 2029 now, penultimate season and uh budget's kind of tight as usual it, that's just that's just how it's been with this team but um yeah here we are here we are i mean we, we have a good team as per usual we just gotta see what we can do with it so I accidentally skipped the notification we had a tie breaker with the rockies for the division as you can see we lost and um so yeah we got a postseason wild card or we got a wild card no postseason birth by wild card that's what i'm trying to say pitching doesn't look like it went great and yeah that's okay the rangers are good Jeez. and uh all right hopefully we don't get knocked out first round again but i know it's gonna happen like it's just gonna be super disappointing and this rebuild's gonna be like the biggest bust ever it's like we had a super team every single year and yet somehow we just weren't able to get past anything. Like we just couldn't win. We I just don't get it. How how could we not win more than one World Series with this squad? Like this team is stacked beyond belief. Ezra Gomez, yikes. Same with Alvarez. Of course we trade for somebody and they do poorly. Um, John Love back on track. Gratterall. I don't get it, man. What the heck? And then um, the rest the rest did well. Zarate struggled a bit. <laughs> but um, let's see here. We got Bueller doing well. Dustin May looks like he's a four ERA type of guy. Josiah Gray as well. Hans Kraus is really good. And same with Mario Batista. So it might be something like maybe something like this going into the postseason. We'll have to wait and see. But um, looking at the moves, I signed this guy in free agency. He was available in free agency. That's that I said the same thing twice pretty stupid of me but Carson Tucker limited appearances did well and anybody else this Brandano guy could be pretty good could be pretty good I think he was like a season four draft pick if I remember correctly Derek Bell led the league in home runs and then as you can see the rest of the team Cody Bellinger hmm yikes hate to see that Jesus Sanchez looks like he's going down as well Something that I'll keep my eye on. Probably not going to bring him back. Josh Naylor still putting up good numbers. And then uh, I think it's uh, Calzado's time to leave the team. So we'll definitely make a big trade next year. But it all comes down to this wild card game against the Padres. And we win. Thank God. Now we're facing the Rockies. Got past them. And now we're in the World Series against our former pitcher, Julio Urias. We take that win. We take a loss there. That's a disappointing loss. And we're one way away from a World Series. One win away. We're going to lose. Oh, okay. We actually got it. Okay. One win away from the World Series. We made it. Okay. Um, let's get this set up. Um, Hans Kraus has been our best pitcher. So it's going to go Kraus, Bautista. I think it might go like that. Um, so we get the loss there. And another loss. A win. A win, a win, one win, please, Hans Kraus, please, 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 please don't do this to me. <sighs> you can't make this up, like, you can't, you just can't, I don't, I don't know what to say there, man, like, what, what are we meant to do differently? I'm gonna decline this one, we'll take this one, it's super cheap. And we're gonna let those two guys walk. I, what? Just unreal. I'm gonna make sure we add those guys to the team. Arbitration wise, we're gonna give it to everybody here. Yep. And then contracts to everybody. We're gonna have money to spend. And I'm probably not gonna spend it in free agency. I'm probably gonna make some trades. So I'll see you guys next season once I make those trades. Cause wow, I, I'm flabbergasted at how bad this team is in the World Series. All right, final season, I'm going to trade for Nolan Gorman. Now of the Angels, we're going to trade Deacon Lippett, Calzado, and Josh Naylor. And then that might actually open up a little bit of money for us to, 
see if we can sign somebody even though there's not really anybody available um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put gorman at third we could use a dh and i actually know somebody that i think is still available in free agency he's not dang it um that's disappointing very disappointing joey gallows there but like eh, you know like he's eh, he, he so let's see we might have to make another trade because who i wanted is not there and that's uh a big letdown joey gallo would be ridiculous but i don't think he's gonna do what i need him to do so i think we're just gonna have to make another trade which i mean isn't the worst thing so let me go make another trade for dh we're gonna trade sepulveda and grant levine for jose panagua he's chilling there with 80 and 82 power yeah join the squad please all right let's get into the season all right so here we go last season and uh we made the big trade for gorman and jose panagua who i really just wanted because of his power we've got brandano here cody bellinger starting to fall off a little bit we've got gorman seager bell who i'm actually going to swap there and then swap those two you got bets bobby witt jr brandano like i've mentioned mcdougall who i signed in the last off season and then these guys here and then, of course, the pitching rotation, I left it completely alone, didn't touch, didn't want to mess with it. We're going to leave it there. So budget wise, you know, it's been hovering around like the 500,000 to a million. And uh, this is kind of what it's looking like at the end of this rebuild. The last year, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um, we It's just been super unlucky. So, all right, here's our last chance. Let's see if we can do it. All right. Last season, we went 102 and 60 love to see it so there we are last season we did it won the division once again and again it looks like we're one of the best teams in baseball if not the best team in baseball and i'm just i i already know it's gonna be bad nolan gorman really good year same with dustin may it looks like and uh i'm already just prepping myself for just being let down just disappointment at this point like it's just been so so bad man so as we get into the awards we got a silver slugger an mvp and a rookie of the year there we go okay we got quite a few awards on that last season so okay i like to see that maybe this is the year maybe finally this is the year maybe hopefully i hope so all right so let's take a look at the starting pitching because there was definitely some questionable things on top of that the cpu sent down one of our pitchers in John Love, which sucks, but it happens. So Ezra Gomez, he's down to the 75. Why? Well, he had a really good year. Um, just morale, I guess. Peter Alvarez had a decent season, but you can see he's unhappy as well, which is disappointing. Oviedo, really good year. You got Gratterall. He had a solid season. Caleb Ferguson struggled a bit. And then David Zarate was back on top with the 41 saves and a really strong ERA. And then when you look at the starting rotation, Dustin May starting to really show that he's he's got that ability. Uh, just the last couple of seasons, he struggled. You got Walker Bueller with the four ERA, Josiah Gray four ERA, Hans Kraus five ERA. Yikes! And then a 3.73 for Mario Batista. And then when we take a look at the offensive. Ugh offensive lineup the offensive side of things valenzuela minimal appearances but six hits and 14 at bats not bad carson tucker did struggle a little bit um scott heineman i don't remember signing him at all i guess maybe we didn't have enough players in the the minor leagues so maybe the cpu just signed somebody okay i mean it wasn't terrible luis rodriguez and then diego cartaya okay and then when we take a look at our actual lineup, Bobby Wood Jr., 29 years old, we got him for a few more seasons, 29 home runs, 40 doubles, solid. Corey Seager, definitely starting to fall off a little bit, but still a pretty respectable season, almost 30 home runs, 83 RBIs. But yeah, this would probably be the last season I would keep him on the team. Mookie Betts, you can tell he's definitely starting to fall off as well. So it would be another player that I would let walk in free agency. Derek Bell would be a player that I would want on my team. For the foreseeable future 49 home runs 128 rbis and 1111 ops nolan gorman 53 home runs you got cody bellinger who still respectable numbers for you know his attributes just tanking 
and then uh, Howie Brandano back to be potential, but still a pretty respectable season. And then Panagua, who was rookie of the year, really good year, even though the OPS is under 800. So, and then our catcher was pretty abysmal, but catchers in MLB The Show franchise are like non-existent. They don't like ever do well. So last season, here we go. Let's see how it finishes. And we're gonna get right through the, the, red, the Reds, no, the Cardinals. That's the team that we just faced. And then we're gonna go back to what was working the best. Dustin May is going to get the game one start against the Cubs, and we're going to get right through them, and we're back into the World Series. Please give me a World Series victory, and boom. Whew, there we go. We finally did it. We faced the Indians, who have been in the World Series for quite some time. I feel like they've been in the World Series for like the last four years, it seems. And looking at their team really quickly, I mean, they've got a pretty solid team, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Juan Soto, Lindor's been there, like, his whole career. Nolan Jones. Pretty solid team. Let's take a look at their pitching staff, too, because, I mean, like, clearly they're a strong team. They've been here for quite some time, and, I mean, looking at that rotation with Class A and then Karen Chak closing out games, that's a pretty solid team. So, we'll take a look and see who was the MVP. Playoff MVP was Nolan Gorman, and then Cody Bellinger, World Series MVP, and that is how we're going to end it. So again, guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comment section down below. And of course, what video you would like to see next. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, I don't know when this is going to go going out. I don't know what the World Series outcome in is going to be. Is it going to be the Dodgers? Is it going to be the Rays? But I hope you guys enjoyed the MLB season this year. I was, I'm just happy that we got some baseball. But that's about it, guys. I'm leaving you with two videos on screen now. Go and check them out if you haven't yet. That's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.